He's sort of gave Greenville a little little star next to it. When you see on the map, there's that little star. It's called a Josh White. At the corner of Falls Park Drive and Hammond Street, the story of Josh White is on display through art. And I thank the Lord for someone else recognizing. Something that we would have loved to have done, but probably would not have done it in this way. Way. The folk musician, civil rights activist, and trailblazer was born in Greenville in 1914 and traveled all over the world performing his music. He died in 1969 at the age of 55. It's a wonderful tribute to my grandfather and honestly my family is so grateful because after being blacklisted and um, having seeing him at the height of his career and then having him go to Europe where he influenced so many other artists, um, artists that we know of today, to then come back to the United States and then to honestly pass away too soon. Um, to be honored like this is amazing. His life was celebrated with his family, City of Greenville leaders, and the committee to commemorate Josh White. The Josh White story is a great Greenville story. It's a great American story. And to gather here today with his family, many of whom have probably not been back in Greenville for a generation or more, is just, uh, just a terrific experience. Thanks to that committee, sculptor Joe Thompson captured White's life with three bronze relief panels. My intention was to show Josh White as a dynamic force in three different moments of his life. It's my grandfather. White's children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren from all around the country gathered to remember his legacy. He left a lot for many to be able to nourish from and to understand we've always wanted to fight Jim Crow. I want them to remember that he never stopped telling the truth. It touched me greatly that his my own man's town recognized what he did. There's no way Josh White Jr. could live without Josh White being there at all times. And his gift of music lives on through his son. Trouble.